guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. It's your girl, Bougie Brie. And I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Um, you could be doing anything in the world, but you choose to spend time with me, and that makes me feel really special. So thank you so much. If you hear something really, let me turn it down. Okay, I'm going to notice that. Everything just got a little bit lighter. Um, so, funny thing, I live in Houston, and um, yesterday, it was like, the last two days, it was like 55 degrees, which in Houstonian world is like, go get your fur, go get your parka, it is fucking freezing outside, which is like, I also am very cold natured, so I was like really not happy, and now today, it's like 95 outside, so, such is the world. I'm going to do a, a tag from a friend of mine. Um, Monica from Matt Beauty. I'm going to list her um, in the description bar, so go check her out. She is awesome. She's a very, very cool person. I really like her um, on YouTube, but like getting to know her outside of YouTube has been really fun. And you know I don't just fuck with anybody, so she's cool people. Check it out. Um, this is her tag, and she tagged me, which I thought was so fucking cool. So the tag I'm going to do is the part-time YouTuber tag. Okay? Um, and I, I need to get ready for the day, so that's also going to happen at the same time. You guys know I can't see without my specs, so I don't know what's happening outside of right in front of here. Um, let me go ahead and ground some. I'm going to use, I haven't used this in a long time, this is the UT Optical Illusion um, Primer. I used to really, really love this found, not foundation, primer. And I, I haven't used it in a while, and I need to use it up before it goes bad, so. Uh, that's what we're doing right now, so. All right. Okay, so this is an original tag. This is the tag, a tag that she created. So, um, which I think is awesome. Okay, so it says the question number one: What is your main gig? Do you work full time? Are you a student, a parent? Spill the beans. Okay. So I work two part time jobs. I am a social worker. Um, I work with children with special needs, special abilities, different abilities, I call them um, uh, different abilities. Um, I specifically work with children with autism. Um, and I provide in-house and in school, like in their classroom therapy um, for uh, social and like cognitive issues that they may have. Okay, so that's one thing that I do and I do that part-time. I do it five days a week but I only work part-time. Um, then I also, uh, what about, hold on a second guys, I gotta get my mind right. Um, I'm gonna use these two guys, I haven't used them in a while. The um, double shape tape or whatever the hell it is, double beauty shape tape, it's one of my favorites, I haven't used it in a while. I also have for the last 13, almost 14 years, have been writing uh, freelance writing. I've written for a number of mags, online and um, print mags online and print newspapers. Um, that's really dark. That's going to be super, super dark. I'm going to look like a Humpa Loompa. Um, I've written for a lot of other blogs. And when I initially start, started writing, it wasn't beauty writing at all. Um, I kind of segued over because it was very profitable. Um, but now there's so many bloggers that, you know, people like me that were like OG bloggers are getting, um, you know, you like how I use something that I don't like. I hate that word, OG. Um, are getting phased out. So I'm taking other jobs again like I used to. Um, so lifestyle writing, stuff like that. So um, I also am working on my very first book. So um, I had a friend of mine um, a couple years ago have a book published. And I kind of started thinking about something that I would want to write about. And then after my mom passed away, which tomorrow, this is the... 14th. Today's October 14th. Tomorrow is October 15th. I don't know when this is going up. It will be the year anniversary of my mother passing. And uh, after my mom died, I got quite a bit of inspiration to write. I started writing all, like, if I was just in a doctor's office waiting or something, I had a notebook and I was writing, you know, what I wanted to, what just anything that popped into my head. And um, so, yeah, that's my gig. And any, I'm looking for help to try to, like, narrow down my topic and learn like how to write a book because I, I know how to write short pieces you know that's not a problem but writing a book is a different animal okay what made you want to start YouTube okay this is and this is the true story the only reason I wanted to start YouTube had nothing to do with me wanting to be a YouTuber or have ex 
exposure on YouTube. My um, website is controlled by Blogger, and the only way you can get any kind of um, like video feed up on your blog that's more than a minute is if you upload it to YouTube. So, and I was, t I'm talking about like, seriously, if it's more than a minute, you have to upload it to YouTube first and then upload it to Blogger. That's the only way to work because you know, they're all together. And so, um, that's how it started in the beginning. Like I wanted it to be seen on my blog and then, and only to do, the only way to do that was to get it uploaded so I could put it on, you know, Blogger. That was the only reason initially I'm using the Peach Perfect powder. This is way too orange. I can already tell, but it's on my face and I don't care. Um, um, so that's how it started. How it continued was that after mother died, um, people used to tell me all the time, like how funny I was and like, have you ever thought about being a comedian, a stand-up? Like several people have told me that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm just myself. Like, this is me. I, I am, I'm me wherever I go. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter if it's the president. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, Dominique Dawes. I don't care who it is. This is, this is Brie right here. And uh, they're like, yeah. And that's what comedians are all about. They're all about being themselves wherever they go. And so, um, um, I just started using it kind of as an outlet, um, for further creativity and just to t like, honestly, just to talk. Just to talk to somebody about, and if other people commented on my video, great. If they didn't, that was okay too. At least I got to say some stuff, you know? And it felt like any somebody was paying attention, even if no one was subscribed and no one was listening. Hey, mama. Nala's here. You want to come? Come sit here. Come sit here. Okay. I knew she was going to come in here. That's why I left the door open. Sit down. Sit down. She's not feeling good. I think she has a urinary tract infection and an ear infection. So we're going to take care of that today. We're going to go to the doctor. So she's not feeling good. She's right up in my face. I don't know if y'all can see her. No, y'all can't. She's going to lay down next to Molly. So, next question. Sorry. What is your channel about? Do you stick to one niche or do you cover a few? Okay, so my channel is about me talking. That's it. <laughs> like... It is mainly about beauty related stuff, you know, it does link to my blog, that, I mean, that is the main, the main point, but I feel like I have a kind of personality that I have to talk basically about anything, um, I'm very intelligent, uh, and I like to talk about a myriad of things, and so I, I don't really care, I'm oh, sorry, somebody texted me, um, I don't care really what, um, I feel like talking about I'm gonna get on here and talk about it if I want to if I feel like I feel like it uh, it's mainly about beauty and I concentrate heavily on eyeshadows because I have an absorbent amount of eyeshadows and you're gonna go oh she has a couple hundred no I have 800 and so yeah that's why um, and uh, that's it that's pretty much it do you all did you always know you two would be a side gig or did you ever want to be a full no this has never, ever been something I wanted to do. This strictly was something that happened, and I went with it. I don't make any money off of YouTube. I'm not monetized, because I don't have enough subscribers. And um, I don't really care about my, like, listen, I don't need, my, I am not trying to have YouTube as my job, or side gig, or side hustle at all, because I already have, I already do, I do well. So I don't need this. This is basically just for fun, like, what YouTube should be about. It's just about fun. No, that's all this is about for me. This is about fun. If someone digs up dirt on me, I don't want to have to, like, worry about losing my YouTube channel. I don't give a shit. Like, go find stuff, because it's probably true. You know, go find stuff that I did in my 20s, early 30s, or whatever. Find whatever you want to. Go dig it up, sis, because I probably did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, going, I'm not shamed by anything I have ever done. Because you can't shame me for nothing. So, I've never wanted this to be, like, a full-time gig. Or even a part-time gig. It's just something I do for fun. Like it should be. Um, what is your schedule like? When do you film? When do you edit? Okay. So normally, I film on the weekends. I don't have time in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. I have to be at work most days 8, 8 o'clock, some days 8.30. So I don't have um, time to... I have like a ritual in the morning. I pray. I work out. I walk my dog. I eat breakfast. I spend time with my dog. Um, cause she, I'm gone a chunk of the day and she's locked in her kennel and so I want to spend some time with her so she doesn't have anxiety. Cause she is relatively, 
um, not relatively new. She's, I mean, I've only had her since July. So, um, and she was a kind of neglected in some forms. So I try to spend a lot of quality time with her. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it is. And um, so what I'm getting at is I don't have time between all those different things to film unless I'm going into work late. That's the only way I would do it. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is my first time using it. I've had it since it dropped and now I'm using it because that's my life. So I love Natasha. If you didn't know it, you haven't been watching me. Uh, I'm about to be really happy, I'm sure. Um, this week in my rotation is luxury, no, I'm sorry, favorites drawer week. I have a drawer in my um, Alex Spy down here that is favorites, and it's all stuff that I really want to use or I, and I, or I haven't used and I really want to use or I've used before and I want to use it again. And then I have stuff waiting in the back, waiting in the wings in another organizer um, to put in here once I've used the stuff in this drawer. So I'm really shaking out the way I rotate my makeup, and I'm happy about it. Nala, did you turn off the air? It's hot. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, next question. Oh, so okay, so I so I up so I um, film on Saturdays and Sundays normally, and I usually edit Sunday night because I usually have to have something up um, Monday morning. So that's usually how that goes. If I have time during the week to do it more, I will. She wants me to hurry up. I'm hurrying, Mama. I'm gonna play with you. Okay. How do you keep your YouTube channel organized? Do you plan videos ahead or just film when you feel like it? So, a lot of the stuff I take is inspo from other YouTubers. I love tag videos. I found like um, some kind of secret list of tag videos. I have like 54 tag videos that have been done in the last 10 years and I plan on like going through that list. Um, and then I also film like my weekly um, review and rate and um, product picks for the next week. I do that. I do uh, reviews. Um, I do uh, empties. I do a lot of different stuff. And um, I have that organized on my Google Calendar. It doesn't always happen on that day, but that's my intention. Um, but certain things have to go up, like um, this has to go up on whatever day. You know, that's just the way it is so that it makes sense in the succession of um, what gets uploaded. So anyway, so um, but I use Google Calendar and then I also have another thing called Agenda on iPhone that's really useful. Uh, Monica had something that I really was interested in her, her kind of letting me take a look at um, that she used in Google Sheets. And I would use Google Sheets if it was more iPhone friendly, which of course it's not. So, Alright. How do you feel about sponsored videos on YouTube? How would you ever do, how, how you, would you ever do one on your channel? Okay, here's, here's this. Here's this shit. I've done sponsored um, posts on my blog many 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 times it always says that it's sponsored it's like the first fucking thing in my fucking like next to my byline okay what I hate is getting a seeing a video look all of a sudden very 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 professional hmm and then presenting a product like you're presenting like oh what's that like something like an infomercial type shit and then slowly 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 they really like the product blah 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 and then you they don't say anything and then you scroll down at the end of the description box where no one fucking goes no one goes no one goes down there except to do what I do and you see this video was sponsored so when people do that when they like and that's not necessarily against the rules I just think it's shitty. Like, I, why would you do... Like, just tell me up front, sis. Like, that doesn't mean I'm not going to watch it. Just tell me, because now I'm not going to watch anything you do ever again because you didn't tell me from jump. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a problem with it. But tell me up front. Don't let make me go through the whole video and then scroll down at the bottom and see that this was sponsored. That's just shitty, man. Come on. Fucking ridiculous ass people. Okay. So, I'm really loving how this looks. I wish I, I wish I had better lighting, but mm, so lovely. I spent my money on other things. Um, I actually have another ring light coming today. That's supposed to be really good. Okay, so what do we want to do on our lids? See, this is kind of how I'm feeling right now. Let's. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I don't know what that. What 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 happened there? Okay. So then what? Uh, okay. Then what's the next question? 
What do you think is the biggest challenge of doing YouTube or part YouTube part time? Well, as a part time YouTuber, if you will, which I'm not, I'm just a bitch with a camera. Um, it's hard to gain tra traction because you're not. Uh, oh my god, you're not uploading every day, right? You're not. You're not uploading every day. You're not, uh, so you're not getting a lot of subscribers. Now that I don't care about. Like I don't care about subscribe. I mean, not, not, let me back up. I'm grateful for the people that subscribe, but that is not something that's gonna like it defines me. That's what I should say. It doesn't define me how many subscribers I have. It doesn't mean that my points are any less valid or any shouldn't be heard, right? But it is harder when you're a part-time YouTuber to gain traction, because and then it's also harder to manage like social media, Facebook. Um, Instagram, Twitter, like I don't even screw it with Twitter, but I have to be on there to make my presence known, and it's so it's a lot, it's a lot, it's the cha more challenging, especially, you know, I don't want to say this because there are other YouTubers at my age, but at my age, you know, I grew up at like my my nephew was like, I was like, hey, are you on um, Facebook? He's like, Auntie, Facebook's for old people, and I was like, oh, like shot to the gut, like, and it's true, like Facebook is for old people, like, so. I have no idea where it cut off. I didn't hear it cut off. Where did you guys cut off? I don't know where you cut off. Do you see this? What happened? You see that right there? I have to fix that. I didn't hear you cut off, so I have no idea where, where we were. So, um, I don't know what happened. It just cut off. Maybe I was out of frame. I don't know. That's weird, so. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we're just gonna do it like this. That's just, it's fine because it's in the crease, so that's fine. It looks really fucked up now, so I'm gonna have to take the picture with this side of my face when I do it for Instagram. But this is what I did. That's the black mascara. I just buffed it up there and we're done. Done with it. Okay, thanks guys for hanging out with me. I always appreciate it when you spend time with me. You could be doing anything in the world, but spending time with me makes me feel good and I appreciate it. So, um, let me throw this on. Is literally the only red lipstick I own. Yeah. And it's cheap as hell, but I love it. Okay. I have no idea where the video stopped previously, so um, I'm just going to say um, I hope you guys are having a great day today. If not, things can change. You can start your day over at any time. Remember, things get real. They get different. They get real fucking different. So hang on for the ride, guys. Thanks again to Monica from Matt Beanie. For tagging me in this video and i hope you all have a great day talk to you later bye